now in just one station this morning, a South Florida woman on the road to recovery after getting badly burned when her home was set on fire and police say it was no accident. Seven Gina Benitez reports from outside Jackson Memorial Hospital where that woman is being treated this morning. On Monday, June 14th, Julie Wilsey would barely escape this raging mobile home fire in Davie with her life. I'm in bad shape, man. My, my legs are, my legs are, and my feet are burnt, so it's unrecognizable. Speaking to 7 News from her hospital bed, Wilsey takes us back to her real-life nightmare. Her memory of the horror she lived through still a bit foggy. I don't really remember anything except for coming out of my house and being on flames. Her home set on fire, and it was on purpose, according to officials. Investigators say 54-year-old Scott Oatkin set the blaze. They arrested him last Thursday. As the fire spread, Wilsey talks about how she escaped and jumped into a nearby canal to put out the flames. And then I remember jumping in the canal. I jumped in the canal, and... Uh, I remember being in the ambulance. Over more than 20% of her lower body, Wilsey has second and third degree burns. A photo of her badly burned foot here blurred. Her injuries severe. I'm very lucky. I could, I could be dead. According to the arrest report, Oaken and Wilsey have been dating over the last year. Wilsey telling police the morning of the fire, the two got into an argument shortly after the fire started. Wilsey is now focused on her recovery, hoping soon she can leave the hospital and get back to living. Finally got back to work from COVID, from the whole COVID thing. Yes, finally got back to work. And it happened. The suspect is still behind bars this morning. As for Wilsey, she says she's going to be in the hospital for some time. She's going to need skin grafts, and those medical bills are piling up. So if you'd like to help her, you can visit our website, WSBN.com. There we have a link to a GoFundMe account to help her. We're at Jackson Memorial Hospital. Gina Benitez, today in Florida.